Hi everybody, it's Christina. Um, I wanted to go ahead and start my collective haul videos um, because there's going to be a lot. I know it's going to be a long video and I'm sorry if you see, oh stop, <laughs> if you see some tails or something come in, in the view. Um, I've recently decided, oh this is Anne, um, my blue healer. So I recently decided to start leaving my craft room door open. Oh, and she wants to be right in that camera. Um, I leave my door open when I'm in here so that they can come in and out. I didn't used to, but I've given in. So, and here comes Rambo. So, I got all the dogs and the cats. Okay, yes, I love you. Okay, now go lay down. Over there. Go over there. Oh, she just gave me a book. Oh, oh Ian. Okay. That's Ian. Oh, and that's Rambo. And that's my mess in the back. Okay. So. Alright, go get your ball. Or something. Go on. Go in the living room. Go on. No. Sit. No. Sit. Stay. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do this now. Okay. So. Um, the first thing I want to show, it's not part of the haul. No. No. <laughs> no. This is a bad idea. It's not part of the haul, but I just wanted to show something that she doesn't understand. She's like, she's talking, she's talking, she doesn't understand who I'm talking to. She thinks I'm talking to her, I guess. Um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, oh, stop it guys, no, are here from Germany. My brother-in-law is um, stationed at Ramstein Air Force Base. Uh, he and his wife are over, are visiting the States um, for their son's first birthday. They wanted to spend his first birthday here. Well, they brought all of us, they always bring us chocolate, or they send us chocolate, or if, like my, my sister-in-law's been over a couple of times since they went, oh, she brought a toy, um, so anyway, this time, my brother-in-law brought, no, brought a case, no, guys, no, <laughs> no, my brother-in-law brought a case of these for each of us, um, they are called Happy Hippos, okay, this is, um, chocolate made in, in Germany, and I'm thinking it's the same company. It's the Ferro Rocher, I guess. I'm not for sure. I'm not positive. But I'm sure it has something to do with them. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, in the other room. Go on. Go. You too, mister. You go on. Go. Stay. Stay. They're, oh, they're just so cute. I, I can't stay mad at them. Anyway, these are called Happy Hippos. And so if you look... It looks like a hippo. Oh, there's his little nose and his eyes. And um, it's like a wafer cookie, kind of like the, the you know, the Ferro Rocher um, cookie or candies that we get here in the States that have like the hazelnut in the middle. Except there's there's not a nut in this one. It's just the wafer cookie and there's white and um, I don't know if it's dark chocolate or just milk chocolate in the middle. It's like a cream. Oh my God. It's so good. And then, you know, and then the hippo is dipped halfway in this other, these chocolate bits. So it's like a hippo slathered in mud. And they're so good. And the only thing in English is happy hippo. Everything else is <laughs> it's in a foreign language. But but anyway, they're good. So they, they brought me a case of those along with, um, they gave my, my sister-in-law, my, um, my husband's other brother, um, gave them a case. And I think they gave my in-laws my in-laws a case, I don't know. And then, um, they had went to Israel for their anniversary, and she brought me some lotion, which I am so thankful for, because I, I really, I need lots of lotion. So, anyway, um, so this came from Israel. So I wanted to share my little goodies that, that came to me from overseas, from my, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Okay, so now on to the haul. Um, the first thing I have is um, with the greeting farm, um, I signed up for what they call the Super Secret Stamp Club, I think is what it was called. Um, you had to sign up by December 10th or something like that. And basically what you do is, it, it was $27, I think, for three stamps uh, for three months. You get one stamp per month, and you don't know what you're getting. It's a secret. Um, and then you just pay shipping or whatever also. So this is the stamp that I got this month. 
this is um, Ferris. It's SSSC, so Super Secret Stamp Club number one, Ferris. And it's cute. I'm, I'm guessing this is um, Snow White. So I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming, I haven't gotten on the website to look, um, I'm assuming that this is going to be a princess theme. So that's my first thing. I don't know if everyone who signed up got the same stamp this month. Um, so th this is January 2014, so, hey, hey, she's trying to eat my hippos. Um, so if anybody out there also signed up for this club, and you got your January stamp, um, comment and let me know if you got the same stamp, because I'm curious. And I haven't had time to get on the website to see if, you know, if this is the one that came out, or if they just, like, came out with a line and sent, you know, various ones out or whatever. So, uh, okay, on to my next thing. Um, Project Life. Um, there's a lot of people that are getting into Project Life, and I didn't really understand the whole deal of Project Life until I started watching some of these videos because I was like, you know, who wants to do that? Who wants to just stick their photos in, in, in page protectors? Um, but then I started watching videos and I saw those cute cards and different ways to, to show off, you know, the journaling with the things. And it looks so super simple, which is something I need. Um, I have like actually over 10 years worth of photos to catch up on for my son. When he was really little, um, and I was married to his dad. I was good about scrapbooking stuff, um, and just in a photo album, you know. But once we got divorced and my life became pretty hectic, then I, I took a lot of pictures, but I never printed them or, you know, scrapbooked. So I have a lot of stuff to get caught up on. And the Project Life way looks like the best way for me, actually, now. So I got super, super excited, right? And I got on, on scrapbook.com and I started ordering all this stuff. <laughs> and, well, the first thing I ordered actually was all this tape refill for my my tape runner um, because it was on sale and, and I get it at, at Walmart for like two fifty nine dollars per pack and then I get a 10% discount. But I'm always running out, so I just went ahead and I got it. And I was hoping it was going to get here last week, you know, while I was on vacation, but it didn't. Um, so I got like 10 packs of <laughs> And then I also picked up this um, scrap rack. It's just cardboard and five things for paper. I want to start, I want to try and get it a little more organized. So I think that's like everyone's goal this year is to be more <laughs> organized. But um, so I picked this up. Because it was it was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much I paid for all this stuff, but it was you know one of the cheaper ways to go. Um, and then I also got this magnetic platform for my Sizzix die for the wafer dies. Um, you know because you can use your your platform, you can put washi tape down, but this actually is magnetic to where it'll you know your wafer dies will stick to it. And I'm really looking forward to that. Because it sucks, you know, they move a little, and then you have to tape them down, and they move a little more, you know. So anyway, um, this was on sale, I think. I don't know. I, I kind of got in a rut last week, and I just started ordering. I just added. Especially once I saw this Project Life type stuff, and I just like, add, add, add. <laughs> so I got this. Um, okay, so I didn't get the Project Life brand. I got um, Simple Stories, Snap. Studio Simple Stories, um, and I got mostly the small journaling card size, 3x4, but I also got a few of the 4x6. Um, yes, I had them separated. Let's see. Oh, you can hear Ann taking a drink. Okay, so these... Yeah, these are mine. So I got the... Um, Snappy Days and Snappy Sayings, 3 by 4 And I would flip through them, but they're taped, and I didn't bring my knife. So those are the 3 by 4 um, little journaling cards. And then I got the, um, what is this one? Smarty Pants, 3 by 4 journaling cards. Those look like they're 4 by 6 Oh, maybe that's just what's covering 
covered it. So, um, I, I don't know. I don't think I should take all these out because it's really going to run in. Well, I want to take them all out. So it might be quite a few parts. These are 4 by 6 These aren't 3 by 4 Okay, so these are 4 by 6 I'm going to do all the 4 by 6 I guess I could do the 4 by 6 now. Um, okay, so this is the um, Smarty Pants. So you've got this one. I like that little composition book. That one will be good for journaling. I really would prefer um, them to be the same thing. Oh, there's some brands that like, like this says I Heart School. So on the other side, it would be like other orientation I Heart School. I would prefer that because I get torn between, oh, what am I going to use? What am I going to use? You know, so I would prefer it to be the same thing on both sides. That way I don't have, that way I just, you know, have to decide what I want for my orientation. Best teacher ever. I don't. It says, I like school. Recess is the best part. I'm really smart. I like my teacher. I like math. I like art. I like reading. Can't wait for summer. Homework rocks. <laughs> I'll watch my time. It's the chevron. I'm not real big on chevrons, so I'm sure I won't use the chevron side. A plus. Some polka dots. Goodbye summer. Hello school. And see, in these you can cut them down and turn them into 3 by 4 So, oh, 24 3 by 4 cards and 12 4 by 6 cards. Okay, I get it. It's a combination. I, I prefer um, these smaller kits. Um, I did order some of the Project Life stuff. But, the you know, the Project Life core kits are huge. I mean, it's a good price, but... They're huge. I, I just don't understand how I could use that many. Um, so I prefer getting just some of the smaller kits. Um, but I did order one or two of the, the core kits. Um, I have one in my next um, package. And then I have one coming that I did a pre-order through um, SP and Company. I'm just kind of really flipping through these really fast because um, I'm going to have to load up this video and do another one. But, um, best in class. I like these math ones. Star student. You know, my um, sister-in-law and I, we were talking the day and um, they don't really teach cursive or, or here in Oklahoma City, they don't really teach cursive a whole lot anymore. It's like it's kind of lost. What I love about school. I wonder what my son would write on that. <laughs> I like these chalkboard things. There's that one. Oh. Okay, so um, I'm already at 13 minutes because I did talk a lot. So <laughs> I'm going to pause this and I'll do a part two um, to continue with this order. So, all right. Hold on.